Hello everyone. Today is Friday, March 11th, 2016. My name is Brian McInerney. I'm the hydrologist here at the National Weather Service Forecast Office. This is the March water supply briefing and it's the short version. So when you look at February, what we're seeing are the winds at about 11,500 feet and they indicate where the jet stream's going and where the jet stream goes, the storm track goes. The areas in red are the more dynamic parts of low pressures that are moving through with higher winds. But what we notice right away is Utah and the western U.S., especially southwest, has a large high pressure system that is set up over this area. And as a result, we have got warmer temperatures and a lack of precipitation. So when we look at the precip anomaly, and this is during the month of February, what we see is warmer colors throughout the majority of Utah and, and most of the other parts except for the east part of the US. When you look at February's precip we had 50 to 70 percent over much of the area that we accumulated with some areas only getting 30 to 50 percent. When you compare that to last year though you see that last year some parts of Utah didn't accumulate any precipitation during February and those that did Maybe it got about 10%, 11 to 20% in the south. When you look at the meteorological winter this year, December, January, February, as far as precip uh, accumulation and the anomaly, it's not too bad. The winters were a little dry, but the rest of US, uh, uh, the Utah area did, did quite well, normal to a little bit above. Now we'll move to temperatures. And when you look at February, you can see Utah really didn't fare too poorly, except for the Uinas and the Wasatch, where we had some parts of the Uinas were up to 7 to 10 degrees above normal, 5 to 7 degrees in the Wasatch, and we melted out a great deal of our low elevation snow and pre-ripened the mid and high elevations with this. When you look at last year, the demarcation between east and west is pretty apparent. And we had some areas, the Uintas were up to 10 to 13 degrees above normal, while the majority of the state was at 7 to 10 degrees above normal. When you look at the meteorological winter for December, January, February, as far as temperatures go, Utah didn't fare that poorly. But normal, most areas were a little cooler than normal, especially when you look at the rest of the U.S., which were most likely going to break a record for the warmest winter on record since we've been keeping records. Utah was much cooler than what we typically see. So let's take a look at snowpack and let's start with February 1st before this high pressure set in. And when you look at the numbers, they're quite healthy. The Virgin at 156, the Severe at 145, Weber at 111. Good numbers, right? So let's move forward after that high pressure has affected us. We see a different picture here. Still not too bad, but much less. And now let's go to the actual water supply forecast made by the Colorado Basin River Forecast Center, part of the National Weather Service. And let's take a look at their forecast on February 1st before that high affected things. These numbers were looking very healthy, especially down south. And, you know, doable numbers in the northern part. Now let's see after that high pressure set in for the month. You see the numbers drop pretty significant. We're at 65% in the Six Creeks area in the Weber and this is the amount of water expected to come out of the mountains when spring runoff hits so you can see the numbers have gotten worse now what we're going to look at is we've got about a month left of snow accumulation if it gets cooler and wetter these numbers will improve if it becomes warm and dry and that high pressure comes back they're going to get worse so there's my contact information give me a call Just drop me an email hopefully we'll get cooler and wetter and I do appreciate you taking the time to listen to this thank you